Hey what's up guys, Kunis Atatu or how are you? So as you can probably tell from my voice in my last video and now as well, I am pretty sick at the minute, I've got tonsillitis and some kind of flu virus as well so hopefully that will explain the lack of content on my channel over the next week until I can finally beat this. I don't think I'll be streaming today, I might stream maybe Sunday if I'm better. So I had planned on making another new player experience video today as I keep getting asked if Warframe is pay to win or not or if you can get all of the items in game for free which is a question as a new player I guess. You're not going to know these things, you're not going to know if you have to fork out real money to get all of the best weapons or not. But because I have the flu, I couldn't really make that video as it wouldn't sound right. But my Patreons and my TeamSpeak community being as great as it is, being full of really nice guys, one of them has decided to help me out and make a video for me on my behalf to better explain whether it's pay to win or not in Warframe. And honestly, his accent is better than mine anyway. Now this video is by Philemon, whose channel is linked in the description below the video. He is also the guy responsible for rebranding my channel, making my new logo and my, on my Twitch as well. Feel free to check him out and subscribe if you enjoy this video. I think it's really well structured. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching. Hey folks, Philemon again. There have been a lot of players coming into Warframe and I'm sure a lot of them are wondering, is this another free-to-play game that's pay to win? Now, before we dive into this topic, let's take a look at what free-to-play really means. Free-to-play refers to games that give players access to a significant portion of their content without paying. Warframe goes a step further by allowing all players to access the entire game whether they pay or not. That's something rarely done with the free-to-play model as no matter what a player spends on Warframe, they're not given access to any gaming content a non-paying player can't eventually get to. By doing this, Warframe avoids dividing its player base, which is a great thing because that would only turn most people away from the game. I mean, no one likes to be excluded because they can't spend money on something that they really like doing, right? Now, with that out of the way, what is pay to win? Pay to win is usually when a company sells stuff that gives an in-game advantage to players through microtransactions. Pay to win is probably one of the most hated terms for Western gamers. Why? It usually means two things. One, you'll hit a wall at some point in the game where you can no longer continue unless you spend money. Or two, certain items can only be obtained by spending real life money and these items in turn give one player an advantage over another. Almost everything in Warframe can be obtained without spending real money to buy Platinum, which is the in-game currency, with the only current exception being cosmetics bought through the Prime Access packages. So yeah, if you want to be that super sexy Tenno that stands out in the crowd, Prime Accessories are for you. Just know that looking super sexy and not being able to stay alive in the game will only draw more attention to the fact that you're really bad at it. Platinum can also be gained by obtaining rare items in the game and trading them to other players for it. So you can have the skills, spend nothing, and still get that fashion frame going on. After all, it is endgame. But with that in mind, you probably are asking, what are the advantages of having Platinum? Well, the key advantage here is convenience. By that, I mean you can obtain things like Warframes and weapons faster. Also, you can buy cosmetics, boosters, and additional Warframe and weapon slots. However, if you're just buying Warframes and weapons to avoid grinding to get them, then honestly, Warframe isn't the game for you, especially since the game is primarily about grinding for more and more gear. Take that out of the game, and there won't be much for you to do. Now, patience is the key to the game. That's because things in the game take hours or even days to get done. If you can't dedicate the time and the patience to get things done in the game, you'll either spend platinum to rush the process or you'll quit due to frustration. Personally, I find it interesting that people can look at Warframe, a primarily PvE co-op game, and call it a pay to win game. Because if you were able to buy exclusive gear that made you better, all you would do is use it to help you and other players fight off the AI enemies. Plus, when you jump into the very limited PvP aspect of the game, Everything changes as most mods aren't available to you and all the frames get their abilities reduced, basically making it an even playing field regardless of what you buy in the game. Now, have I ever spent money on Warframe? The answer is of course yes. I initially went in the game saying, I'm going to play this game for free and I don't plan to spend a cent on it. However, I got hooked, saw the potential the game had to grow and took a gamble to back the developers when I bought the Hunter Level Founders Pack. It was my way of saying to them, great game. It's got more than a few bugs. Here's a little money so you can hopefully make it better. And for the most part, they did. Since then, I've also purchased additional platinum for 75% off. However, I've never bought a Prime Access package. It's been a bit too much for me. But if I had to guess, 
I'd have to say that roughly about 80% of the platinum I've gained in the game has come primarily from trading. So you can choose to support the game by spending money or by playing. Because no matter how much money one spends on any game, if no one is playing it, the community will eventually die and so too will the game. And you can see that Digital Extremes sees the value of players who pay and those who play for free. After all, they did coin the term, ninjas play for free. I'm sure there's much more I could have added to this, but that's what the comments are for. Whether you agree or disagree, you can leave it down below. And until next time, keep safe.